channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing an update on my top favorite hair companies if you guys have not seen my last one i did that one probably like eight or nine months ago i will go ahead and link that down below if you haven't seen that i would recommend that you actually watch that one first prior to watching this one just so that you have a little bit of a better understanding so before we get into the video just a couple things i want to go ahead and get out of the way nothing has changed as far as my method on how i bring hair to you guys on my channel i still like to wear it for at least about a month sometimes two months and then i'll go ahead and bring it here to you guys and tell you guys how i feel about it that way i can ensure you that you're getting like a very in-depth opinion um of what i think of the quality of the hair so i don't really do like initial reviews or two week reviews or anything like that i want to make sure that you guys are going out and spending your money on something that's going to be worth it and not like some temporary unit that you're only going to be able to wear for like a month or two and lastly just a quick little disclaimer because i know that i did get asked on my last video so i have personally purchase most of the hair that i'm going to tell you guys about i'm going to give you guys six so out of the six hair companies only three of them have like sponsored me to do hair review videos but it was after the fact that i had already been wearing their hair okay so the first company that i'm going to start with is going to be ali pearl hair now these hair companies you guys they're not listed in any particular order i have been wearing their hair for the past year i think it's been a little over a year i've had three different textures from them deep wave hair which is my absolute favorite you guys like they take the cake for having the best deep wave hair the curl pattern is beautiful it looks good when it's wet looks good when it's dry so you got that versatility you don't always have to wear it wet I also had their body wave wig and then i've also had a six by six lace closure wig from them which i believe was their straight texture the first thing that kind of comes to mind regarding Ali Pearl hair is that their hair is very silky. It's very silky. It's very shiny. It's going to be that type of hair that you don't really need to put any product on it to give it that shine effect. Like you're not going to need any of the cheese silk infusion, the Garnier Fructis and whatever else kind of like oil products that people put on their hair to give it that shine. However, because it's very silky, it doesn't hold a curl. So the only two textures that I prefer or that I can really recommend that you guys get is one is going to be their deep wave hair I totally recommend that texture and then second is going to be their straight hair so it will kind of be a waste to get their body wave hair knowing that you can only wear it straight you might as well just get their straight hair so yes, by the way all the hair companies that I'm mentioning I do have individual reviews for them on my channel for the deep wave hair I had the six by six closure and then the matching deep wave bundles three bundles and a closure was about $300 and it has been six months since I've been wearing that hair and it's still intact it's still in perfect condition nothing's really changed from the time that I did that review up until now of course the closure is probably going to give out before the actual hair itself does I would have no problem just ordering another six by six deep wave lace closure from them and just redoing the wig because that's how good their hair is as far as their straight closure wig it's been about 11 months it's basically almost a year since I've had that one that was a six by six lace closure wig from them that wig was like 250 dollars somewhere around there and that wig the closure on that closure wig is just starting to give out on me but that's how it's supposed to go you're supposed to be able to get at least a year's worth of wear out of your wig so that's pretty normal you guys because closures and frontals they're not meant to last forever if you make your own wig then the good thing is you can always just replace that instead of having to order a new set of bundles okay so this next company is maxine hair now i'm recommending them as one of my top favorites for one reason and for one reason only they have the best kinky straight wig that i've personally tried it was my first time trying the kinky straight texture and i wanted to get something that was i'm just gonna go ahead and say it, something that was cheap because if i didn't like it i don't want to feel like okay well i wasted my money on this texture of hair and it really turned out to be something that i didn't want that wig was like 120 something dollars and i'm still wearing it to this day it's beautiful a lot of you guys asked me under that video if the hair will curl or not i did actually curl it and it does hold a curl because it's kinky it has a lot of texture to it so it can hold a curl i actually put some flexi rods in it but i didn't wear it out like that i just wanted to see if it could curl what i like the most about that kinky straight wig is that it had the most perfect lace on it like it was medium brown which was the perfect shade for my skin tone because i didn't have to go in and bleach the knots a lot of you guys were saying how natural that wig looked which was nice because anytime that i can get away with not having to bleach the knots just so i don't mess it up since i'm not like a perfectionist when it comes to bleaching them yet i would rather take that route to mention that when i pressed that hair out you guys that hair 
looks like straight hair it has its texture still but it gets very silky so when i straightened it it looked just like any other straight hair that i had as soon as you put water on that type of hair it's going to revert the crinkles are going to come back the waves are still going to be there i personally can't speak for any of their other hair the only thing that i've ever gotten from them was that kinky straight wig and if you're in the market for one like something that's cheap affordable and beginner friendly then that would be the company that i would recommend specifically for that hair next company that i am throwing into my top favorites is west kiss hair now west kiss hair is my favorite hair company simply because they have the best hd lace wigs if you are in the market specifically for an HD lace wig, I would say go and get it from them. There are other companies that have nice HD lace wigs that I've reviewed as well. However, theirs is the one that I find myself wearing more often than the other ones. Now what I will say with HD lace, because it's thinner and it's gonna come with the whole invisible knots, which they're not necessarily all the way completely invisible. They're just very small. It's like the knots on HD lace is like single knotted instead of double knotted. So with that you really don't have to bleach the knots on an HD lace wig and that's why I find myself liking them because it's easy. I'm telling you guys even if you were to do like the bald cap method or even just put on a wig cap and then put on an HD lace wig and you'll see the difference for yourself. So the fact that you don't have to bleach it is a plus. The lace is super thin, super transparent. And with West Kiss Hair, I got their Body Wave HD Lace Wig, which that video is on my channel. When it comes to HD Lace Wigs, they are definitely an investment. They are a little bit more on the pricier side just because of what they come with. And then most of the time, I've been getting mine in 13 by 6 so, you know, you pay a little bit more few extra dollars for that you know deeper parting space so don't do the watercolor method on hd lace wigs because you do not want to you know change the color of the transparent lace because once you get that lace with that black tint i'm not really sure if there's a way you can fix that so you just have to do like i did because i did dye my hd lace wig from them jet black and just take your time and just do it by hand next on my list i have wiggins hair i love their hair i have plenty of videos on hair reviews specifically for this hair company you guys first thing that comes to mind about Wiggins hair is they take the cake for having the best lace you would think that the lace on their wigs is kind of like HD lace because it's so thin and they have the perfect medium brown lace color so again with this company every time that I've gotten a wig from them I've never bleached my knots because when I tell you guys the medium brown color is just so perfect so if I don't have to do that then obviously that's a plus because I don't have to weaken the knots on the hair and then that won't contribute to shedding and and stuff like that so I've been wearing Wiggins hair for the past 10 months so it's almost been a year since I've been consistently wearing their hair what comes to mind with this hair company anytime someone says you know what's your favorite straight hair i think of this company first and that's because they have very silky straight hair it has a lot of body in it and their bundles are very very thick so i've gotten a combination of both bundles from them with a six by six lace closure and i've also gotten wigs from them one thing that i'm kind of learning to do like with my closures and frontal is not to pluck them so much to where i know everybody is going for like you know that natural hairline look but sometimes when you you know kind of over pluck it to achieve that look in the beginning later on down the line it doesn't last as long so i was very careful when i had got that six by six lace closure and just every other closure and frontal that i got you know after that not to kind of over pluck it because that wig is still holding up very nicely i was still able to achieve like the natural hairline look without taking out so much hair and then that's why i feel like the closure is about to be lasting for going on a whole year now the hair texture hasn't changed it's still silky it still straightens very easily of course their straight hair doesn't hold a curl but i've come to the conclusion that a lot of straight hair is just not going to hold a curl some straight hair will but for the majority like you got to look at it like this if you're getting straight hair or if i'm getting straight hair i'm just going to get it with the intentions of only wearing it straight so if it doesn't curl it's not like a big deal to me anymore i feel like they're definitely affordable depending on what you're trying to get from them now don't expect to get like a 30 inch wig like from either of these companies and expect it to be like $200 because it just doesn't work like that usually like you guys pretty much know how hair goes you know the longer the length of course is going to cost a little bit more the more bundles you're going to have to get and so on and so forth. the next company that I'm going to mention is going to be IC hair now this is the hair company that I've been wearing for like the least amount of time I've been wearing their hair for the past seven months now if you like I said if you guys are subscribed to my channel 
I did like a little series where I ordered hair from all three of their platforms. So I've gotten hair from their official store, from their Amazon store, and then from their AliExpress store, just to kind of compare the quality to see like which was better. So all of those videos are on my channel as well. If you guys want to check them out, you know, with Amazon, you'll get the prime shipping. With AliExpress, you'll get it in two to three days. And then with their official hair store, I think I got it within like around three or four days so everything kind of varies between the different platforms that they sell hair on if i had to choose i would say their amazon store and their official store have the best quality out of all three of the platforms so when it comes to ic hair i especially like them for their body weight wigs now the first one that i got from them um it had just a little bit of flyaway hairs but other than that it was perfect but body wave hair is actually my personal favorite hair texture you guys i like it because the versatility i say this all the time some good body wave hair is going to be able to get bone straight and it's also going to be able to hold a curl and i like to wear curls a lot especially like wand curls and i like for them to drop and turn into nice waves and with icy hair their hair holds the curl so well it's not to say that the other hair companies that i mentioned um don't hold a curl their body wave hair doesn't hold a curl but i see hair in particular i really like them for their body wave hair not to mention i really am in love with their mongolian kinky curly unit that i got from them now that wig is fire one because i love the curl pattern on it it just looks so natural and then two because it's very low maintenance like usually when people think of curly hair you think of having to put all this product to maintain it and whatnot but that hair is very very low maintenance and i love that like it's just a different type of curl pattern it's very kinky it's very textured it's very coily like it's just a really pretty hair texture so i really like their mongolian kinky curly wig and their body wave wigs their straight hair is good but you can get straight hair from anywhere and also what i do want to point out about their particular hair company when it comes to their wigs their wigs are very nice and full so when it comes to choosing your density just remember to choose accordingly okay so this last and final hair company that i want to continue to recommend to you guys is asteria hair and i've been wearing their hair for the past year and i've only gotten two textures from them i usually stick to their straight hair and their body wave hair i've gotten nothing but wigs from them i got a 30 inch wig from them a six by six lace closure wig that was straight and then i also got a six by six lace closure wig from them as well that was in their body wave texture so they overall just have really good quality hair like i that's why i know that their bundles are probably they got to be just as good as their wig because the you know the hair on their wigs is just very nice like if you take care of this hair the right way there's no reason why it shouldn't last when i did my review for their 30 inch straight wig it wasn't that it was a bad wig the only thing that i would have done differently if you're going to get a 30 inch wig from them is not to get the 180 density and go ahead and get the 250 percent density yes it costs a little bit more and i didn't get that because i was worried that i was going to be too thick and too much hair but you know after wearing the 180 and of course if you guys seen that video then i've said this in that video as well i would have liked for it to be just a little bit fuller but yeah i don't get a lot of problems with this hair company none at all the shedding is pretty minimal their hair never tangles on me i like their hair and i do wear it quite often um a lot of you guys have came back under some of my asteria hair videos saying that you guys have bought the hair and that you guys really loved it and hair and stuff like that really means a lot to me because if you guys can vouch for it as well then it kind of helps the next person out okay you guys so that completes my current up-to-date top favorite hair companies for now if you guys have any more additional questions or anything like that you guys are more than welcome to leave those down below and yeah i will see you guys in my next video